Hi everyone, this is just a quick one about the Motorola satellite communicator. So is it goodbye for the Motorola Defy satellite communicator? Uh, so for those of you who don't know, Bullet's the company behind the communicator. At the end of January, announced that they were going to actually cease trading. Um, and from what I gather, they had planned to um, transfer to a new business and move all the staff over to it as well. I think it was about 100 staff, but in the end, um, it all fell through at the 11th hour. All the staff were laid off and it looked quite bleak really. Now at the time of recording of this video, my communicator is still working. I used it on my last camp as well. Um, where it worked flawlessly and I was able to send messages back and forth with my wife. Um, Bullet uh, built the communicator and the app that runs alongside it under license of the Motorola name. So it's not really got much to do with Motorola at all. The satellite messaging though is actually done by a company called Skylo and the SOS Rescue is run by Focus Point. Now they're quite big companies in themselves. Now it looks like the reason why it continued to work since January is because of the goodwill of those two companies. Some good news is though, from what I've read on the internet, three former directors have actually reformed a new company. I've relaunched Bullet, but I've split away from the hardware. So it seems to be that it was the hardware side of the business that was losing the money. So concentrating on the software, um, it makes a lot of sense. You can still buy the satellite communicator for places like Amazon and eBay. Um, you just can't buy them directly from Bullet anymore. If you already have one of these, it will continue to work. And the fact that Skylo and Focus Point kept the service running even though Bullet had shut down, fills me with loads of confidence that it will continue to work when I, when I really do need it to. Another promising sign is Yuli Phone have released a new handset called the Armour 23 Ultra, which has a built-in satellite communicator, which uses the Bullet app to send and receive messages. Um, just yesterday morning, I actually did get an email back from Bullet about this issue. I'll, I'll just read a little bit out to you. They are pleased to confirm that it will honour the service agreements and the data plans for the thousands of existing customers who signed up to the Bullet satellite messenger service prior to April the 3rd, 2024. From April the 3rd, 2024, the following price plans will be immediately available to all new subscribers. And then they go on to say, um, the following devices are and remain compatible with the Bullet satellite messenger service. So there's the CAT S75 phone. We've got the Motorola Defy satellite link and the Ulifone Armor 23. And we are pleased to announce that we are working closely with a number of other device manufacturers to add NTN messaging capability to other portfolios through 2024 and beyond. So it sounds like it's it's not goodbye. It's just you're not going to be able to buy these anymore. Personally, I'm going to carry on using the Bullet service and the Defy communicator. But it's been a brilliant piece of kit and it's been much cheaper than the other options out there, especially as you've got the first 12 months included in the service. So until it breaks, I'll just carry on using it. And if, and then I'll, I'll just have a look and see what other options are out there to carry on using it. But if you have any other questions, just leave a comment below and I'll try and answer them as best as I can. So thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. And next time, hopefully I'll be out camping. This weekend though, uh, we've got a storm going on, so I didn't fancy breaking my tent. <laughs> so if you got this far, thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Cheers.